Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, it is Christmas Eve and we're enjoying a lot of sunshine across Connecticut. Of course, temperatures as expected cooler than yesterday, but that bright sunshine is going to last all the way into Christmas Day. So no white Christmas for us. But on the topic of snow, this December has been rather snowy. Here's a look at the top 10 snowiest for the Hartford area. Uh, so far this year, 2019, with a week left in the month, we've had 21.1 inches, a solid seventh place uh, position right now. And as we head through the final seven days of the of the month, uh, we're not expecting any more real wintry precipitation. If anything, our next storm system is going to be coming and producing some some wet weather. We'll have more on that in just a moment. Currently across the state, we have temperatures that are in the mid and upper 40s along the shoreline, 40 to 45 across many communities uh, in inland Connecticut. So not bad. Keep in mind our normal high is 37. So above average, but certainly not as warm as yesterday. And we've got this northerly breeze at around 5 to 10, 15 miles an hour. It's creating wind chill values well into the low and mid 30s, uh, basically along the northwest of 84, but still several degrees cooler than the actual air temperature even along the Connecticut shoreline. But at least we're enjoying sunshine uh, today. So if you're traveling, you'll need the sunglasses. We've got dry roads looking down on I-84 east and westbound lanes there over Asylum Avenue in our in our capital city uh, and as well from New Haven looking quite nice as well with uh, sunshine border to border and great visibility there with the uh, sleeping giant off in the distance. So if you're perhaps looking for something to do this evening, perhaps it's a tradition or you're looking to start one off. We've got holiday light Fantasia in Goodwin Park. That's of course at Hartford South End runs from five to nine o'clock this evening, benefiting the Channel 3 Kids Camp temperatures after sunset will start dropping through the 30s. Uh, it's going to be a little bit breezy, but that wind will begin to diminish, but you get to enjoy it from the comfort and, and warmth of your vehicle. So uh, no real weather concerns precip wise, of course, with that mainly clear sky. So throughout the region, high pressure in control for now. So that means a continuation of storm free dry conditions for the next couple of days as a cold front moved offshore. High pressure out of eastern Canada continues to dominate. That's going to keep us high and dry again for the foreseeable future. So future cast looking at tomorrow's weather today through the rest of this afternoon. Ample sunshine, clear skies this evening and tonight throughout the day tomorrow for our Christmas day from when the sun rises uh, right on through the afternoon. Uh, we're looking good. Perhaps some late day clouds you'll see pop up here they are across southern New England as we head towards six, seven o'clock tomorrow evening, but certainly looking dry throughout the state for tomorrow. Now Thursday, a day that will likely feature more clouds than sunshine, but dry weather. So if you're heading back to work, traveling or taking advantage of some post Christmas sales, uh, no precipitation issues, then a disturbance that was once going to bring some light pre precip to southern New England now looks to take a track a little bit farther to our north. So we may be able to squeak out a dry day on Friday, maybe a sprinkle or an isolated rain shower during the course of the afternoon. So on our early warning seven day forecast temperatures tomorrow, a couple degrees cooler than today, but it's not going to be as windy than mostly cloudy on Thursday, mostly cloudy again on Friday, maybe again a sprinkle. And then for the upcoming weekend, we'll turn milder on Saturday temps into the mid 40s and dry with a partly to mostly sunny sky. Certainly the better of the two weekend days than Sunday as we close out the last weekend of 2019. Uh, clouds will be on the increase. This next storm system arrives. It's going to bring wet weather to Connecticut. It's taking a, a milder warm track uh, to the west of us and some of that rain could linger into early Monday before temperatures drop a little bit into early next week. For shoreline highs, uh, 40 to 45 once we get past today and then warming up a bit over the Saturday Sunday timeframe.